is again being linked with Chelsea. Is there? <laughs> <laughs> linked by who? Um. Eh? Who's him? I'll ask him. Will you go in for Rooney again in January? I mean, yes or no? Who did go to him <laughs> to give him the information? <laughs> Jose Mourinho has just told us when uh, he was asked about Wayne Rooney, whether making a move, he said, well, why don't you ask him? So we're asking you, what's the, what's the latest on the, the notion that Chelsea might take an interest in Wayne Rooney. Well, well, they're clearly interested in him. I mean, the, the plan this season was to have three strikers, Torres, Lukaku and Rooney. Uh, now they've got three strikers who are the same. None of them are scoring, Torres, Barr and, and there too. It's, it's not good enough. Long term, I still think there's a huge interest. Chelsea are aware of the fact that Rooney has uh, not had any contract talks thus far on a new deal, that none are planned. Uh, I suspect that nothing will happen in January, but I do think something will happen uh, in the summer. Uh, if, United don't offer him a new contract soon. They're in the same position with Rooney that Arsenal were with Van Persie. Either sell him cut price or risk him going for nothing. Chelsea will see that as an opportunity to strike and, I, and I'm sure they will. We, we know that Barr won't be here next season. He's not good enough. We know that Etchell already wants to go to MLS. I don't think they'll get rid of Torres, although I think they should. And Lukaku is coming back. They need at least one, if not two. Rooney fits the bill. It's what he wants. He wants someone who can drop off the front, turn and run with the ball. We've seen him do that all season for United and England. He's in prime form. He would be perfect for Chelsea. And of course, uh, we're talking about next summer, maybe Chelsea making a move for him. Will Jose Mourinho definitely be here? Because we're suggesting here that if they don't win a trophy, and he has won a trophy in every year of his career, but if they don't win a trophy, it may not be good enough. Look at the history of Chelsea Football Club under Abramovich. If a manager doesn't win the Premier League or the Champions League, he gets sacked, no matter who that manager is. 2007, people forget, Mourinho won the FA Cup and the League Cup. The board told people at Wembley it wasn't good enough. He was gone within three months. Every other manager who's failed to win one of those trophies has lost his job. Even one of those who did win one of those trophies, Roberto Di Matteo, they wanted to sack after winning the Champions League. Um, the standards here are incredibly high, relentlessly high, probably wrongly high. But they are the expectations, standards and demands of anyone sitting in this chair. And of course they're now on a busy period. All the clubs are at the top. Jose's made the point. They're only five points behind the leaders' arsenal. Is that a gap they can overcome? And uh, can they get into the box seat by the new year? Well, they can be top of the league by Monday week. Let's be fair. If, if City were to beat Arsenal on Saturday, Chelsea win their two games against Palace and Arsenal, they are top of the league at Christmas. That's how tight it is. Or they could be 11 points behind. You know, there is, therein lies the danger. I think it's, it's an incredibly tight title race, all the way down to, to sixth or seventh. I could get into it. I still think it will come down to Chelsea and City to decide it with Arsenal third. If Arsenal win these two matches, I'll have to reassess my position because they'll be firmly in the box seat. The fact is, as we know, Mourinho has never lost a game to Arsene Wenger. He would expect to continue that. He would expect to extend his winning streak against him. Uh, Chelsea think they'll do that.